Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Statistics. Uh, here we're going to learn how to find Z values uh, with the normal curve when we're given the area or the probability involved. And so what we're going to do in this section is kind of like what we did before. We're going to gain some practice with just how to use the chart here. And then we'll get to some problems where you'll see where it's practical. So just like before, we first started out by learning how to use the chart, learning how to find the Z values and go into the chart and get the probabilities, and then we learned how that was useful with actual problems, same thing's going to happen here. So we're basically doing the reverse. You know, usually we're given a problem, we find the Z values, we calculate the probability. Usually in statistics we want to know the probability of things. Here we're going backwards. I'm going to give you the area under the curve and you're going to return to me the value of z that makes sense for that. And it's going to depend a little bit on the type of problem as well. So for this particular one right here, what z value, and you have to read these very carefully to make sure you don't make a mistake. What z value has an area, or you could think of it as a probability because that's also the same thing, of 0 0.0038 to its left. All right, there's two pieces of information that's important. First one tells us is it has an area of 0 0.0038 and also it's to its left. Now if you remember the chart in the back of whatever book you're using, or what we're certainly using in this class, the chart of Z values, gives you the area or the probability to the left hand side of the Z value. So this particular problem lines up exactly with what your book is going to give you in that table. It gives you the area or the probability to the left of the Z value. So really what you have to do here is just look this value up in the chart and just kind of go backwards and find out what value of Z is there. So if you think about it, here's a probability distribution. What we're saying is that there's some value of Z here. I don't know exactly where it is. But there's an area out there that to, to its left of whatever z value this is, the area is 0 0.0038. Basically, we're going backwards. So the area here, the shaded area here, is 0 0.0038. We want to find what value of z that is. And since it's all defined to be the left, toward the left there, we can just look it up. So go in your table and look for 0 0.0038. It might take you a little while to find it, but eventually you're going to find an exact value for 0 0.0038. Uh, and then that when you find that guy, you can read off of the column and all, off of the top row there, you can read the value of Z. So the corresponding value of Z for this problem is negative 2.0038. 